Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome back to Watching Chickies. Now here on day 141, part 3 of our broadcast. And this is very odd. My screen doesn't seem to be working properly right now. But um, we're still going to try to keep broadcasting for a bit. We've had a lot of errors on Reddit today, so I'm not sure if it's due to a bunch of server issues today. But we have our good little boy, Stormy, here, who's becoming quite a distinguished little gentleman. We see these new uh, feathers coming in. It kind of looks like we've almost um, braided his hairstyle right now because of them. But these are some new pinhead feathers. Um, so his hairstyle is actually going to be expanding quite a bit more in these next few weeks. He is basically going to have just the most glorious um, head of hair on him that you've ever seen on a chicken. He's definitely going to be quite the looker. And hopefully, you know, he gets the attention of the girls a bit more. That's sort of our little Stormy's dream. Uh, puberty has kind of hit him like a rock. And he has definitely been thinking about the girls these days. He's tried breeding with both uh, Kagome and Braveheart at various times. Um, Kagome is a lot better at telling him off, and he just kind of runs away. And Braveheart, well, she just kind of runs they are both not laying eggs yet. Um, they're all the same age, and our Stormy is just a little bit of an early bloomer in that regard. Uh, the girls will probably start um, having their own eggs in anywhere from like a couple of weeks from now to about a month and a half. Whereas Stormy right now, while well, he is just pleased, getting a little bit of preening from Dad, just getting a few little cuddles here. And chickens can definitely appreciate a few little pets. Uh, we have been raising our little chickens by hand their whole lives. They are now 141 days old. And they definitely seek attention from us. They um, are picked up every day, they're pet every day. Um, all three of their breeds, uh, Silky, Ayam Samari, Ayam, Ayam Sam, Samani, and uh, Onagadori, um, all three are quite people-friendly. So, you know, all of those together kind of make some lovely little chickens that are part of our family. And hello there, Braveheart and Kagome. They're just kind of hanging out next to us here on their little perch. And uh, today's going to be our last broadcast of the day. We had um, a couple of quite short broadcasts before this. Uh, Reddit seems to be getting a lot of server issues today. So we usually give it like three shots on uh, our daily broadcast, and today's the third. Uh, and this one's the third, so... There we go, Stormy. What a happy little gentleman you are today. I'm just loving how this hairstyle is looking right now. It looks positively fierce. And all of these little chickens are members of our family and friends for life. So they will never be eaten. They are here just to enjoy their lives. Uh, to hang out with us. Um, hopefully the little chickies will be living for around 12 years. Um, we're not concerned about when they stop producing eggs, when the hens go through their version of menopause. We just want them to be living their best little chicken lives. And of course, our little Stormy here, he will never have eggs because he is a little rooster. And yes, you are, my boy. Yes, you are. He will be the uh, future father of any of our little chicks. So all of them will be half silkies. 
though I doubt any of them will be nearly as soft and fuzzy as their father, though there is a good chance from some of the pictures I've seen of silky hybrids that they might have glorious little hairstyles like their dad. So that would be nice and lovely. You might see an onagadori with quite a big fro in the future. Oh, and hello there, Braveheart, leaning forward to say hi to Dad. Oh my, oh my. What, you want to reach the camera? Do you want to give it a bit of a peck? Oh dear. Yeah? Well, you're really talking to us today. Oh, I'll pay attention to you, Stormy. Did you hear that? That little tantrum when I stopped petting him. Oh my. That was quite the message to Dad. There we go, little one. There we go. Lovely, lovely. And he enjoys getting his hairstyle done like this. It's just like a little bit of a preening action to him. And chickens can preen each other as just a way to show some affection and love. So by doing this, by um, helping him keep all of these feathers out of his eyes, I'm just showing him that he is a loved little chicken. And I do get the added benefit of giving him a little temporary mohawk. Oh my, Stormy, what an interesting noise. I think he was doing that partially in uh, reaction to the furnace going on. It got a little bit colder, so the furnace just started, and he heard it. The uh, room in here is connected to the heating and cooling, which is quite nice. Uh, we recently added a bunch of new happy lights to this room. Those are those blue lights that you see here. They are actually UV lights. So even now, as we're getting less and less sunlight for when they're going outside, uh, they will still get get a nice daily dose and um, that can help keep your chickens happier and it will also help the girls as they go into the winter um, with their eggs because many uh, chickens in the winter when they stop getting as much uh, sun they will actually stop producing eggs and in black we have our brave heart kind of checking out the camera right now and right behind her we have Kagome, our Onigadori, just kind of sitting back there, trying not to go to sleep as she listens to my voice. We try uh, just speaking very softly when we're by the chickens, and that can, you know, keep them nice and happy. It can sometimes lull them into a bit of a nap, and it just lets them live their best little chicken lives. We do these streams every day around 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, as long as my uh, work schedule allows it. I am a professional background actor, so at times I'm on uh, various sets. And at that time, my uh, partner Lauren takes over for that day, and she does her own broadcast with the Chickies. So I've been proud to say we've been able to put up a video in some form or another for every single day of the Chickies' lives. We've been doing this for 141 days now, and it has been quite the ride. Um, the RPAN community here has been quite lovely here on Animals on Reddit, and it has been a joy um, finding a whole bunch of uh, friends on this platform, finding some new friends, and just chatting with you guys during these broadcasts. There we go. And Stormy's quite happy just to be a little lap chicken right now. He is just the fuzziest little guy, aren't you? There you go, there you go. He got such a fluffy little butt there, son. He's got little fluffy inbuilt trousers. And generally speaking, he is a very well-mannered chicken. The only time he's ever 
um, any trouble is when he gets sort of the mating on the mind these days. He is a little bit ahead of the curve when it comes to that for the girls. They're not all that interested in mating right now. But that will likely change in around the next month and a half. And that will just lead to our flock getting a bit bigger. Won't it, my little Stormy? Won't it? You will be the little father. And he will definitely be the littlest rooster. Because um, even when we have other chickens, they will all be half silky and half of one of the mother's breeds, which means um, they will likely be bigger than their dear old dad. But that's all right, Stormy. You are our one and only rooster. And he is just so content right now with me giving him just these little pats by his neck. And he enjoys just and playing with his hair like this. I shouldn't say hair, it's really feathers, but it just feels so soft and fuzzy. Yes, it does. There we go, little one. There we go. Um, lately, they had a quite a good time with their Halloween tree. We had to kind of get rid of that. Uh, yesterday, because it was about time, but they definitely enjoyed eating the uh, pumpkin. They liked eating those little strands of pumpkin guts inside, and, you know, they liked playing with the pumpkin seeds, though they weren't the best at opening them. I saw Stormy try a few times to eat them just whole. Um, he could be quite good at just eating um, some bigger pieces of food. When compared to the girls, he could eat some quite big uh, popcorn kernels on his own without um, us having to break them apart. It's quite the fun sight. There you go. And if any of you have any questions about the chickies, feel free just to tune in and ask. I think our little Stormy is ready to have a bit of a stroll. He's working his way to the end of my knee. And there he goes. Um, right after this broadcast ends, we will be going out to the yard where they will go to their outdoor coop just to have a bit of fun in the sun. Uh, today's temperatures have gotten a bit warmer than they were um, around this time last week. Storm, it's having a nice little drink of water there. Hello there, hello. Little beak full, and then head back. And hello there, Braveheart. Yeah? Giving me a little whistle? Looking right into the camera? Little shake of your tail? What's that? What's that? Do you want to come say hi? Oh, no. Bit more preening for you. And uh, tomorrow, I believe I have a, another COVID test that I need to take. Uh, these days, for anyone that works in the film industry, you need to be taking constant COVID tests to make sure that you're uninfected. Because if you are infected with uh, COVID, they would rather you not come to set. So uh, tomorrow's broadcast might be at a different time or it might be with my